when I look at my career, it's like been something like 42 years of either being in the British military, being in the Special Forces, SAS, or training other Special Forces. I'll be the first out and you follow me. But if I come back and make it back, if anybody hasn't followed me, you're going to get my full wrath. You're watching tanks fire at other tanks. The guys were writing all the death letters, but then one of them then fired an RPG. I was actually born in 1964. And my dad, he was from Jamaica. I did actually suffer an awful lot of bullying. What happens in childhood? you're always remembered. But I used to be that scared, I'd be actually banging on people's doors. They used to buy me these little soldiers, little plastic soldiers. From then, I was just fascinated with military. I wanted to go in the cadets. So when I left the army cadets, at 16 years old, I was straight in the army. I decided I wanted to go to the SAS. It was basically David Sterling stuff. You were behind enemy lines. You know, this is really, really serious. That's why the British military, we're the best military in the world and we're the best special forces because 90% of us are all from just council estate kids. You're one of the guys I looked up to in the squadron without a doubt. I'll thank you for that from the bottom of my heart.